And there, welcome back to Frame Shave. It's time for a Saturday shave. Today, I'm gonna try out my new acquired Chimet Tap Boy. This is a E4 1958 Ford I Just received it in the mail from Tobin over at Tobin Strawback. And just have a look at that shiny, beautiful thing. It's in prestige condition, really mint, not a single mark that I can find, just a true beauty, it looks brand new and used, so cool, so happy to have that I get hold of this one, it really sits good in the hand, I like this little bit chunky handle, like, um, compared to the Jeanette Slim adjustable, which I love from before, and tonight I'm gonna try it out at setting. Four, and inside I have a brand new Gillette Seven O'Clock Super Platinum, which is the black package and the last quarter turn, and it looked and good to go. So good choice is Phoenix Shaving PA Sangre de Draco, awesome wood, sandalwood sand. Really love like it, really love wood. It's a kind of a dark earthy kind of soap more of a full scent maybe but uh, I enjoy it, enjoy it nonetheless and I'm gonna use my favorite brush my custom made turn and shave with a 26 mil quarter moon knot so I'm gonna just wet that up wring it out a little bit and load one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten swirls. Should be enough with the CK6. So, straight some ice cold water to my face. One days of growth as usual, and I don't think we shall rinse off the tub because it looks quite okay we just let that little dry out on the top of the soap so i hope you ha all have been enjoying your saturday i certainly have been to the capital with the wife and our oldest son and we really had an enjoyable time rainy weather and low temperatures but we still had a nice time Went in by train, approximately one hour of uh, traveling, and had some good, good food then. I drank some coffee, and where well, is a really cool place? We were in a um, reptile park or reptile house, looking at some some tropical snakes and spiders and. Crocodile and uh, really cool stuff. The little one really loved it, <laughs> and I thought it did too. And I saw that. Mm. I do not remember the English name for it. It's a little tiny little black spider, one of the most deadly in the world living in Australia. And uh, it was stuck inside a double glass container, so. It was a glass container inside the, the main glass monitor and there it sat in this little white web waiting for some food to come. Strange that such a small little creature can make so much harm. And there was a lot of frogs there as well, tropical frogs. There was some uh, small, really shiny blue frogs that were called. Uh, I, I, I don't remember the name of them, but there was blue. And uh, they were really poisonous. Just a tiny, tiny touch with a poison will make you sure dead in a very, very short time so a lot so 
creatures there you <laughs> don't want to have any close relationship to, so to say. Great day. Really enjoyed it. We don't have much of snakes in Norway. We have three. Yeah, three snakes. And it's just one of them that's poison to us. And usually it's not deadly at all. Unless you're getting an allergic reaction to it. So it's really uncommon for us to be a of very dangerous snakes and spiders and that kinds of stuff over here. Many of the spiders and snakes were from the south of the states. Like the desert areas in around, around Texas and Arizona maybe and that area. Really big snakes among them. It was a really big python snake. There's a lot of other really cool snakes actually as well. And those big spiders of Tarantellas, many different kinds of them. Really big ones, big chunky spiders with a lot of hair and different colors. Actually I'm quite happy we don't have those around here. But those who do they probably used it. And I guess they're maybe not whistling houses and that sort of stuff that often. At least I hope not. This ladder is looking great. You did see how little I loaded there. As you can see, it's just exploding. We were a little bit lucky with the rain. It didn't rain as much as I feared it should. So it was okay to have some short walk walks outside without becoming drowned. It rained almost all the time, but um, not very heavily. More mild kind of rain, but it really needs it. It's so dry on here now. So it's just good with some moisture. Okay, I'm really excited to try this fat boy out. Let's see how well she shaves. First pass with the grain. Feels really good. Really smooth. Quite mild at setting four. As suspected. Uh, I was talking about a disease here the other day that uh, has come to Europe, which I called cups, and I didn't know the English word. It's uh, pox. I think it's called uh, monkey pox. Has been in Africa. But uh, I've come to the UK and also to Sweden and some other European countries, so 
hopefully it won't get that a big trouble out of that. It's said to be quite a mild disease, but I don't know. I'm so fed up after the shutdowns with COVID and all the restrictions we had. Excuse me, one second. One thing I can tell immediately if I if I um, compare the fat boy to the slim is that it's a much more chunky head. Uh, but it's easy to get under your nose. So no problem. And man, this razor shave's great. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better fat boy. And it was kind of a birthday gift, so... Got an awesome price for it. 1958. That'll be 64 years old. If I look half as good <laughs> as that razor, when I turn... 64, I should be more than happy. Yeah, so it was the first time or some was with a train and they loved it and they also had some different transportations inside the of Oslo which you also enjoyed. It's those small things that you don't think of and often they find that's really entertaining and that's just cool. Second pass goes cross the grain. Still at setting four. Wow. I don't want to say it, but I say it after all. Nonetheless, this racer could probably take up the Competition. That's my Lonely Island racer, my favorite racer, which is my slim adjustable. That's mostly due to its heritage from my grandfather at my mother's side. But this one. Just shaved like a dream, and it looks like a dream as well. It looks like it was purchased in 1951-58, never to be used until I got it from Tolden. I know he has he did a very good job with it. As he always does. Sharp plate as well. This uh, Gillette 7 o'clock. I really enjoy those. I find all the Gillette plates to be good or great. At least those I've tried. I really enjoy the seven o'clocks, blacks especially.
this is a touch too dry for my liking so just gonna dip the brush and paint in some moisture mm. I have thought of selling off all my modern razors just keeping the vintage and my Blackland Vector and Carb but I actually I kind of enjoy the modern ones too as a part of my rotation so yeah I think I keep them for now just turning the down the razor all the way down to one for my last pass Going really mild. I found that's the key for me if I'm gonna go against the grain. A little pimple there, actually. This feels really, really good. Even wider at setting one than my super adjustable from 1970. Okay, wow, a couple of dots there, and I had hope for no blood, but a little bit, just have a little feel about. Feels really good going down for some cold water rinse. Long wins their hard soap to get off. <laughs> Gonna do all them as we always do. We'll get some feedback on how we did. Oh <coughs> yeah. Quite a lot of feedback on the gym. That's where my weepers were. On the cheek as well. (laughs) 
Some feedback, but uh, nothing too serious. Gonna rinse off my bowl. That was really close. Oh. And the splash will tell when it's burned. This PA splash is propped with alcohol, but also great skin, skin food. And this one has restrictor, which I like. Just get some. A good pour out in the pool. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, that burns. Like a flame. And now it's gone. Wow. Why not? Why not? Why not make more? It's so good this hand. Mm. <sighs> oh, it smells nice in this bathroom. Some with the Draco. Great stuff if you like a little bit more dark earthy scents. This is a dark earthy unsandalwood scent. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Well, not the shame, but it dries down a little bit. Still plant the leather. Just a quick recap and then I let it go. Brush of choice was my turn and shave custom made 26 milk water moon synthetic knot. We, oops, almost in the floor. We did use PAA Sangre de Draco. Lovely artwork, great scent, great base. And we did use my new acquired, stunning looking star of the show, Gillette. The epic fat boy from 1958 looks brand new. First use Gillette 7 o'clock blade in it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great weekend whenever you're watching this. And until my next video, as usual, goodbye.